Hey guys, some big news. Lego Ideas has announced the first 2019 review results. So this was for sets that were in the 10,000 votes between January and May of 2019. It's taken the last four months to go through and review it. And there's some really good sets that got through here. So of the nine that actually got to the 10,000 mark, the three that have been selected are first up a Lego, a playable Lego piano, 123 Sesame Street, and the Pirate Bay. So let's have a quick look through each of those. Now I will say this up front, the piano one I hadn't actually seen until the voting uh, came through. So as soon as it came through, I went and had a look at it because it's really intriguing to see how you could actually do this. And this piano is an absolute work of Lego art. There's so much in it. And he's even managed to get some power functions in there to make it play itself. It's absolutely spectacular to look at, even down to the detail of you can adjust the seating height. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. This is a set I wish I'd found beforehand. The, uh, the designer of this one, Sleepy Cow, and like I'm looking forward to seeing this one in person. It looks spectacular. Next up, we have a set designed by Bulldozer21, which is 123 Sesame Street. Now my house, having three kids, Sesame Street is very, very popular, and I am so, so pleased to see that this particular mock made it through the voting and made it through the review stage. It's great, There's so many things in there. It will be interesting to see how much of this actually comes through in the final design, because there are a few custom pieces in here. We'll see what uh, how far Lego is willing to go with those molds, as we have seen in previous sets, a few things have dropped by the by because Lego didn't want to do new molding. Let's hope that the main details get in there, and uh, let's hope that big bird is one of the features that's in there as well as all the detail inside. I mean, it's very much like the Ghostbusters HQ, not quite as big as that, obviously, but there's just every bit of color and detail in the rooms is superb. The third set that got through is by Bricky Brick, and it's called The Pirate Bay, and this is an awesome, awesome nod back to the good old days of Lego pirate sets. Now, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, and we had a good, good selection of pirate sets back then. Unfortunately, not been seen for a while. We still have our fingers crossed that it'll come back at some point, but no guarantee there. This set is packed full of details and things that you would really want to see in a little pirate layout. I love those boat ends with the cannons in, the mast there. We've got trees and ferns everywhere. It just looks like such a great fun set. Now, what I will also say is this guy, Bricky Brick, has some absolutely fabulous fabulous amazing ideas on the lego ideas forums i have actually voted for several of what he's got on there there's a couple of my absolute favorites on there including his train station called studgate and the serum lab 2144 absolutely like a massive nod to blade runner and things like that it looks great so i'm really hoping those ones get through as well given he's got this one set through already now there is one more set that is being reviewed a bit further and that one's called Anatomini, which is the one where a Lego minifigure, who happens to be a lot bigger than a minifigure, is actually split in two and a skeleton is bursting out of it. Now I can understand why this one's taken a little bit longer to review. I can understand why they'd be a bit nervous because I could see that possibly upsetting some people, but at the same time, what a fabulous idea, what a fabulous design. I think this one is, oh, it's, it's a tough call. I don't envy the, the Lego team having to review this one. It could go so horribly wrong or it could go so horribly right. Let's hope it goes horribly right. Anyway, let's wrap that up there. Let me know in the comments what you think of these sets. You're gonna get any of them or all of them perhaps. I for one, definitely gonna be getting Sesame Street. Probably the Pirate Bay is high on my list if I can justify the space for it. As for the play, the piano, the mechanism in that, I, I want to get my hands on that just to see how it works. It's work of art, really is. Make sure you give this video a like so YouTube knows you've enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that magic subscribe button. I post regularly. Here's a couple more videos I think you will enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again very soon.